Hi, I'm Jesse Waters, in for Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching this special edition of The O'Reilly Factor, America Divided. It is stark division that is playing out in every corner of politics right now, and it's on full display in the mainstream media's coverage of the Mike Flynn wiretap Russia intel investigations. As for the latest on Flynn, the former national security advisor is seeking an immunity deal in exchange for testimony to FBI and congressional investigators. The deal has reportedly been rejected by the Senate Intel Committee. And Congressman Adam Schiff, the House Intel Committee's ranking member, says they'll discuss the offer with Senate and Justice Department counterparts before making a decision. Meanwhile, the media's coverage of the Flynn News, breathless. Overnight, President Trump's former national security advisor, Mike Flynn, making headlines requesting immunity in exchange for testifying about his Russian contacts. Flynn wants a promise of legal protection before testifying about the Trump campaign and Russian meddling in the election. Michael Flynn, who was ousted as President Trump's national security advisor, is now offering to testify if he is given immunity from prosecution. And top Democratic leaders are wasting no time using the Flynn developments to fuel more rank speculation against President Trump. I just wonder what the Russians have politically, personally, or financially on President Trump, because this is about a national security issue. Why would the President of the United States uh, for, just come in and start to flirt with the idea of lifting sanctions on Russia in terms of their behavior in Eastern Europe? Why would the President of the United States question the START Treaty? Why the question of the United States put Putin on a pedestal and, 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 and diminish the greatness of America in that? There's something wrong with this picture. Joining us now with reaction from Washington, Matt Schlapp, chairman of the American Conservative Union, along with former State Department official David Tafori. Matt, I'll start with you. Uh, it seems like if the press had been as aggressive uh, covering this IRS scandal, I mean, they didn't do anything about that. I mean, you had Lois Lerner taking the fifth, um, people taking plea deals, and they didn't really care at all. But all of a sudden, you know, Mike Flynn makes a phone call and, you know, all hell breaks loose. Why is all of a sudden everybody in Washington an investigative reporter? Yeah. Well, this is something you're going to have to learn, Jesse, which is Republicans tend to be very careful and sheepish when it comes to going after Democrats for scandals and investigations. Whereas Democrats, you know, I got to take my hat off to them. Every moment of every day, they try to make every Republican feel like they're a criminal. Think about this case. Mike Flynn is the victim. He was unmasked and he was and his identity was leaked to major news publications. And now it's the Democrats saying somehow that Mike Flynn is the one who is the person who has committed, uh, you know, has broken the law. It's, it's ironic how they turn everything on its head. Well, there's no evidence so far to come out that he's broken any law. Uh, David, it seems to be funny that you, when Hillary's associates all got immunity deals and uh, that was fine. But Mike Flynn casually asked for an immunity deal and all of a sudden the press brands him some criminal. Don't you see a little you know, bit of a double standard there? You know, this should not be a Democrat or Republican thing. This should be something that all Americans care about. You know, the framers of our Constitution were really worried about interference by foreign governments. That's why they put in the Constitution protections so that foreign governments couldn't interfere in our democracy. That's at base what happened here. Russia interfered in our election. Now, for Matt to say that Flynn is a victim is unbelievable. Flynn has said he wants immunity from prosecution. It means he's suggesting that he's committed crimes and he wants immunity no. to Wait give evidence That's to not talk about saying. other people he, who have engaged no. in crimes. If he was, That's why you asked for immunity. <laughs> no, David, it's not true. If he was on masked, then he was a victim. That's hard to argue against. No. Yes. If you just, can't unmask no. someone. That's a criminal sorry, abuse Jesse. of power. Sorry, Jesse, you're incorrect. If, if no, you I'm are not. Un, you, let me explain. If you are unmasked because you were in conversations with someone who was properly surveilled, like an agent of the Russian government, which is what happened here, that is not improper. In fact, that's what the law requires. You unmask Americans who are caught up but in we conversation. we don't know if he no, no, was no, no, unmasked no. appropriately now, and second. he was but leaked to the now, mainstream if it was media. Leaked, that's now, exactly if it was right. leaked, if it was leaked, now that may be a problem. And if, if someone maybe, if it was leaked, if it if, was leaked, it Matt, was ahead. leaked. 
It okay. was leaked. Then, then, my then we, then let we me should go after something. Let but me Jeff, David, 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 let Matt the finish. He, go ahead, Matt. The reason he wants immunity, and I would want it if I were him as well, is because this is how he's been treated by our government. He's, they've already committed unlawful acts against him, and he has a story to tell. In order to go to Congress, he no longer has a trust factor with those who will be asking him the questions. And I don't blame him for having that lack of trust, and I think the American people would like some fairness here. David, Matt, let me... Uh, you, Matt, you David, are living in, you're living in a David, fantasy world. Let me just you ad let's ask address for immunity this. because you've committed a crime you're and you wrong. want protection against you're being wrong. prosecuted. Now, if people leaked that information and that was classified information, we should go after them too, but we need to go after both the leakers and the people who were unmasked, who improperly and potentially engaged in treason against our country by dealing with the Russians in a way that hurts I, uh, our country's David, interests. David, hold on a second, hold on a second. There's no evidence there was treason, number one. Number two, there's more evidence that the Democratic Party's in cahoots with the media and these leakers than there's evidence that Trump was in cahoots That's with right. the Russians. It's all smoke, no fire, and we haven't got gotten to the bottom of any of this, and the media doesn't care about the fact that there's potential abuse of power that President Obama and holdover officials might have surveilled a president-elect and then illegally unmasked him and then leaked classified information to the press. To me, that seems like the juicier story. And instead of covering that, it's a process crime now about right. when the House Intelligence Committee went to the White House, when did he go, who let him in. The real story, to me, seems to be the abuse of power. The story that American people care about is whether a foreign power in, engaged in interference in our democracy. That's the most important story, and that's the real threat to America. David, to how many votes and, did and the I Russians just, change and, on Election Day? How many votes did they Americans change? Americans care about Answer that. Answer the Jesse. question, me, David. How many votes did the Russians change on November eighth? The point is that zero. the Russians zero. The, zero. Zero. The Russians it, it's better. Let me, uh, let me jump that, in here Jesse. for a second. Listen, Jesse, we don't know that. No way, Obama no way intelligence officials that. said that in open testimony. That's I'll right. give you the last word. Yeah, let me, let me just say real fast, which is if the Russians tried to influence our elections, which, by the way, I think they tried to. What do you mean let if me tell you something. 17 they intelligence tried to, let me in America here. said they, they did? Tried to, let me There's finish. no if they anymore, tried, Matt. They tried, There's let no me finish. If. They try to influence and destabilize America every day of the calendar year. Do you know whose fault that is? That is President Obama's fault for leaving us vulnerable. Let's really focus on what these investigations should be on, and it's Obama's failure. That's a good point. It all happened under Obama's watch. Guys, thank you very much. Next thank on you, the Jesse. rundown, new questions over whether the Obama administration tried to undermine the Trump White House. We'll take a hard look at that in a moment.